Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to play Car Extreme Racing 3 on PC, assuming that you have a good enough PC to run the game. First, you'll need BlueStacks 5. BlueStacks is an Android emulator for PC, so basically you'll be playing the Android version of the game. And to get BlueStacks, you can just Google it or go directly to bluestacks.com. And once you're here, click on See All Versions and then it'll take you to this page. And once you're here, you can choose to download the full version or the Android 11 only version. Only download and install one of those two. And once you've installed BlueStacks, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. First, you'll need to launch this instance manager, but if you downloaded the full version, you'll probably see this BlueStacks X instead. And to get to the instance manager, you need to launch this BlueStacks X and find the instance manager at the lower left corner. Click it, and if you're using the full version, you'll need to create a fresh instance with Android 11 OS, like this one for example. And to do this, click on instance on the lower left corner, click on fresh instance, and select Android 11 from the drop down menu. And then click next, and make sure you have ARM selected on the ABI settings, and then click create. And then you'll have something like this in your instance manager. Click start to launch the app player, and once you're here, open the settings which is these three lines at the top right, and on the performance settings, for CPU allocation, select high or select custom if you want to use more than 4 cores. For the memory allocation, the game needs at least 6GB of RAM, so basically you need to select high, extreme, or custom. For the performance mode, select high performance. But if you want to multitask while playing the games on BlueStacks, assuming you don't have enough resources on your PC, you can select low memory or balance mode. Click save and restart BlueStacks if it asks you to. On the graphics settings, set everything exactly like this. Save and restart BlueStacks again if it asks you to. Now, here comes the most important part. Go to Play Store, sign in with your Google account, find Google Chrome, and uninstall Google Chrome. Don't ask why, just do. And then you can download and play CarX Refracing 3. As for the in-game controls, you can use keyboard or gamepad if BlueStacks can detect your gamepad. Tap on the arrow on the top right corner, select this keyboard icon, and then Controls Editor. And at the top there, you can select which one you want to use. And for this video, I'm just gonna use keyboard. If you left click on the screen, it will mark that spot as a tap spot by default. And you can assign a button to tap that spot. So for example, if I want to use the Z key as my throttle and X key as my brake pedal, I can left click those spots and press those keys on my keyboard to bind them, like this. And that's the basic control settings for BlueStacks. There are many controls functions here on the right tab. For example, if you want to use tilt steering or gyro control, you can use the rotate function. But I'm not gonna explain all of them, so you'll need to look it up somewhere else if you're interested. And currently, there's an issue with playing this game on BlueStacks. You cannot update the game from inside the game. So if you tap on this update, it won't work. And I have no idea how to fix it yet. That's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!